Wow, here she is, my Tracker Targa V18 walkthrough. I've been wanting to do a little kind of a review of this boat for a while. I actually bought it during COVID, the fall of 2020. It's a 2021. I love this boat. There's things that I really, really dig about it, but there's stuff that I'm like, what the f All right, we'll start this tour of my boat at the transom here and of course uh, my beloved Mercury Pro XS 200 horse. This thing is a beast. This is an upgrade. Uh, the maximum horsepower rating for this boat is 200. The whole shot on this boat is really, really incredible. I can't, uh, I can't emphasize that enough. I mean, this boat gets up out of the hole in no time. But this eye bolt right here really kind of confused me when I first bought this boat. I thought it was uh, to secure the boat to the trailer, you know, use a tie down strap. But um, this is actually designed to secure a kicker motor. So that's what that's for. This here is actually used to secure the boat to the trailer. Uh, let's see, back here, I have a, there's a hole back here, like a venting hole. I had chipmunks when I first put the boat, you know, back here, parked it. Um, I had chipmunks jumping in that hole. So I've had to fill it with a plastic bag. I've learned my lesson, so no more chipmunks back there. But uh, the coolest thing back here is really, oh, that's a terrible sound. Um, I need some, I need some uh, WD-40 on this, but this is really the coolest thing. This ladder uh, is a great uh, ladder in case you fall in, especially up here in the north. It gets very cold in the fall. You do not want to fall in. If I didn't have this ladder and I fell in, I don't know how I get back in the boat. So this is a great safety feature. So easy enough, just goes back up and secures with this little bungee uh, strap here. All right, so coming up to the front of the uh, the boat and the trailer, uh, we'll just talk about the trailer here more. I love the swing away trailer tongue, just allows for more space if you have a small garage. Obviously, this is not in my garage. I don't have any room in my garage. If you did have a garage, a small garage, this would really save you some space. This would just swing out. Uh, this is really nice, this step up, and then this pole that you can hold on to to get you up uh, to the front of the boat here, to the bow. Another maybe uh, kind of more superficial thing, uh, but I really, really love is the color uh, of this boat is, is uh, silver, you know, gray. It matches the lower unit of that Mercury Pro XS perfectly. It just, you know, seeing this thing go down the road, it's just a great looking boat. I just love that, that motor, uh, the fact that the lower unit and the bottom of this hull matches perfectly. It's really, really cool. Oh, and let me not forget this. Uh, this does not come standard, so I had to add this spare tire. All right, obviously we're in the boat now, and I'll just kind of go through what's happening behind me. And you'll notice here, we have a compartment, and this is actually the biggest storage compartment of the boat. You can put tackle trays in there, put anything you want in there. One of the problems though, is that this does not lock. So. What the fuck? Back here in this compartment, you have storage for the battery and that locks. Moving over to this side is the live well. And this is a, a bait bucket, obviously. Fits right here, nice and handy. And this is kind of nice. They gave me a uh, just a spare bucket. I've actually used it to, well, one of the other really cool things about this boat is that it actually has lighted live wells. So if you're fishing after dark, that could be really, really handy. And back here you have more storage and it's a smaller little compartment, but I just use it for rags and things like that for cleaning the boat. This is pretty slick too. These are lights uh, located basically throughout the, the boat. There's four lights all together on this boat and they're just push button lights to help illuminate the boat in low light conditions. And the gas cap is right back here to fill up the boat. And moving down to this area here, I like this step. It makes it quite easy to go from the back deck down to the floor. Uh, this is a really, actually, let me get my keys out. This is locking, obviously. Um, 
This is actually a really handy compartment. I love that they have drink holders. There's a ton of drink holders in this boat, so kudos to the designer, must be an alcoholic. This is a, uh, a nice compartment here. There's plenty of space you could put, like if you're trolling, put planter boards in there. It's a nice compartment to have for, I, I think, for a troller, um, just to have a compartment to easily access stuff. It's a good design, I like it. They really do a good job with rod storage in the gunnels here. So uh, on both sides, there's rod storage in the gunnels and plenty of room for your rods up to nine feet. Okay, that's important. Up to nine foot rods on both sides. Here on the sides, there's also more, uh, you know, gunnel space for like tackle storage and whatnot. And unlock that that is both the rod storage and the side compartments are locking so that's important plenty of room for you know putting maps or something like that in there and then over on this side shut this over on this side um, this is also locking obviously if I was professional I would have had this already unlocked I basically, I have my boat bumpers in here, some rope. You can put a lot more in there. There's plenty of space in here. They have the lights for the boat in there. So good use of storage along the gunnels in this boat. So now we're in the console area here. And the first thing, let's just go to the floor. This is pretty slick. A uh, ton of storage down here. And obviously this tray, you could put storage in here. I wouldn't recommend putting leaves in there. But this is the, uh, the trolling motor batteries. This is a 24 volt setup. Two trolling motor batteries. It's nice that it's right along the center line here. Water does get down here. So you don't want to have anything that can't get wet down at the bottom. So that's important. And let's see, just put this back. We will then go up to this area here, which is uh, that is rod storage. Here's a very, very important factor to consider here. Rod storage, you can only have a rod that's six foot three inches long, okay? This is, again, the Targa V18 walkthrough, okay? Remember that. So if you're gonna buy one of these boats, make sure that you know that you can't have any rods longer than six foot three inches up here. And one thing that drives me crazy, this compartment, right in the middle. It's wonderful. Uh, yeah, let's use that space. That thing floods. It absolutely floods, so you cannot have anything of value in that compartment. Tracker, what the f All right, this is one of those handy dandy lights right here. Just push to turn it on. Low light conditions, really, really nice. We got a cup holder here, cup holder over here, perfectly placed speakers. Down here you have a receptacle to plug in your phone. Also storage down here, storage down here which is really nice using space. Uh, I have on this area, I have my first aid kit. And then over here you have, uh, let's see, what do we have down here? I don't have anything in there right now, but your fuse box is located down there. Still plenty of room for stuff. All right, coming up to the top glove compartment. Very important, very spacious glove compartment. Who loves a spacious glove compartment? I do, I know I do, but here's the problem. This thing completely fills with water. Okay, it starts raining. Listen, as fishermen, we fish in the rain, right? This thing completely fills with water. So, tracker, what the fuck? One thing I really love, again, look at these cup holders. Perfect. We got a cleat here. That's really nice. A cleat here makes a lot of sense. If you just want to, you know, pull up to a dock and tie down really quickly just to the dock right there. Uh, very smart having a cleat right there. Two cleats in the back, two cleats up front, but really, really smart design putting cleats right here. This is the Lowrance fish finder. It's just the stock fish finder that comes with a boat, but it's a good basic fish finder. It's got down imaging, side imaging, but one of the craziest things here is just where it's mounted. You know, there's so many big fish finders now. A lot of guys are using 10, you know, inch and plus fish finders, 
and there's just not a lot of room here. So you're kind of confined to a smaller fish finder. What the fuck? Moving down just below the fish finder here is a, uh, a stereo. And if you notice that it's not exactly level, little bit of a fit and finish problem there, Tracker. What the fuck? Moving to the right here, a gadget that I think is really, really slick. It's a Ram Mount X Grip, and it just allows you to put your phone in there, holds it secure. I'm a big fan of RAM mounts. This is a great, great product. So going over here to the instrumentation, I like the instrumentation. It's really simple, not uh, too crazy. But you got rocker switches, master power bilge, manual forward aerator auto, manual aft aerator auto, forward recirculating pump out aft. And then to the right more, you have your horn, navigation, anchor lights, uh, rocker switch, and the live oil lights. We are up at the bow now, obviously. And of course, walk through windshield, just I mean, this is a typical walk through windshield. I mean, it works very well. And one of the biggest reasons why I bought this boat is that here in Minnesota, uh, fall can get very cold and you can also, well, spring can get very cold. It's cold a lot. And so what's cool about a walk through windshield is that you can make this boat fully enclosed if you wanted to and had the money to do all that. I'd like to do that one day. A walk through windshield allows you to be able to make this boat fully enclosed. So stay warm, stay away from the elements. Really, really nice. Um, both sides, cup holder, cup holder. Awesome. Cup holder right here. I, I love it. Absolutely love it. These are storage areas here on both ends. There's a lot of space there. You can put stuff in there, but the problem is these doors, they're magnetic. In rough conditions, I don't think anything would really stay in there. What the fuck? On the left here, we have plenty of storage. This is where I like to put ropes in my anchor. Nice storage there. Over here is a bow live well. You know, if you're a musky fisherman, that would be a good place for like suckers, big suckers. Bait in there would be a good use of that. Not really for anything else. I mean, if you're keeping crappies or something, you know, um, Maybe that makes sense. I've just never, never used a bow live well before. Uh, going over to the trolling motor, just a basic 24 volt setup here. But honestly, for this boat, it's plenty of power. I've actually been very happy with it. Uh, we have the uh, motor trim and tilt right here. We have another light. That's, they're very, very handy just to push light. Also, we have the forward uh, live well auto controls here. Uh, the trolling motor receptacle is right here, so that's handy. This is a nice little cubby hole for this foot pedal for my trolling motor, so I really, really like that. Plenty of, of space to put, you know, to mount a, a bow mount, uh, you know, graph. Um, you can mount it here or up here if you want to. Um, there's plenty of space there to do that, so that's nice. And also a huge selling point of this boat is the VersaTrack system. This track runs the whole length of the boat from the bow to the stern, and you can mount anything to this by just using carriage bolts. So you don't need the VersaTrack system necessarily, those accessories. You can just use carriage bolts. They fit in perfectly. You can secure anything to this rail system. And I almost forgot there is a receptacle here to charge your batteries. Very, very important to charge the boat batteries. This is a tour of the Tracker Targa V18 walkthrough. And I got this boat because I needed a Swiss Army knife of boats, right? I needed a boat that could do a lot of different things. This boat really uh, is, is just excellent for that. You know, I can, I can troll with this. I can fish at the bow. I mean, I can fish for bass. I can fish for muskies. I can bottom fish for catfish. It's just a great all-around boat. Yeah, it's got its little stupid idiosyncrasies, but every boat has that. Hopefully you found this video useful, especially if you're thinking about buying a Tracker Targa. Um, like the video if you've liked it, and if you enjoy Angling Uploaded, please hit the subscribe button. Thanks, guys.